Imagine this at the weekend. It's Sunday morning. It's not quite breakfast. It's not quite lunch. And then you rattle out a little green shakshuka with a hit of chili. Woo! Hi everyone, I could not be more excited today because we have a very special guest with Kitchen Stories that we're going to cook with today from his new book, One. Thank you very Welcome. much. Hi guys, I hope you're all really well. This is my new cookbook, um, One, and of course every recipe is cooked in one pan. What I would love to show you is a dish that really inspired me a couple of years ago. It's shakshuka, which is a North African Ottoman dish. What I love about this dish is it's more of a principle, not a recipe, and I'd love to share it with you. What I love about shakshuka, breakfast, brunch, lunch, dinner. It's the most flexible dish ever. So I thought I'd take this opportunity just to celebrate all things green. Everything here you can get in every single supermarket in Germany. Potatoes, well we know that. Eggs. The Germans love potatoes, you gotta Broccoli. have Broccoli. Like there's, there's nothing really clever here. The only thing that I would probably get you to search out is harissa. It's a very simple, very gentle chili oil. I think that's a really good ingredient that all of you can get and you can use it in hundreds of different ways. In this you know, day and age, we're all talking about waste. Yeah. Using the most of stuff, using nice seasonal produce is always clever. Don't be afraid to use frozen vegetables. Yeah. They're really, really good. What I tend to do is take the stalks of like asparagus, broccoli, the trimmings from this and fennel there, but it could be any vegetables that you've got. And I normally have like a little pot that I keep in the fridge, which is like a soup, a yeah. soup, you know, dish, and then I'll make a nice little soup out of it. But I'll take the big stalks off here for that. But what I like to do is break down this broccoli and really kind of think about the different textures. So we know, for instance, with the asparagus, these tips are really delicate and beautiful. So I'm gonna cut the stalks up and release some of that flavor. With the broccoli, this cooks very quickly, but the stalk really benefits from, from mm -hmm. long cooking. So I'm just gonna do that for a second. I love that it's a green version actually, because you see the red version kind of everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. And like to be able to put in so many veggies, I imagine also for people at home, having yeah. kids and everything, it's great. I love how you're scoring it and like breaking it apart instead of just cutting through and like the rosettes are everywhere. Yeah. So. Now the little tips, we're taking the little tips here. Yeah, well. it's like just celebrating the veggies in their own right, really. Like you really can embrace any green vegetables. Is there actually any vegetable that you don't like? I love all veggies, actually. I can't think of any I don't like. I think if you know how to cook it, you can make anything delicious. As a general rule, if you don't overcook it, and you dress it with good oil, extra mm -hmm. virgin, lemon, salt and pepper, like it should be a beautiful thing. On the other side, if you really overcook it, yeah. and then hit it with things like mint, yeah. and a squeeze of lemon and olive oil and a little garlic maybe, then that's like, that's kind of what we're gonna do now actually. Okay. So we'll start the seasoning with a little salt and pepper, mm -hmm. just to get that flavor happening. If you wanna save energy, and time, put a lid on. lid on. So we're frying from underneath and we're like steaming from the top. So that's kind of cool. When I wrote the book, I wanted to make it like the most user-friendly cookbook I've written. What would you say, like what are some of the recipes in there that are most beginner-friendly? I think one pan pastas, delicious meal in under 10 minutes mm -hmm. with one pan to wash one up. Pan. Yeah. And if you're really lazy, you can eat it out of the pan. <laughs> I've done it. <laughs> that sounds it? good, that <laughs> sounds good. What about the sausages? So, are there like really good recipes in there? I saw you cook a German YouTube video. Oh yeah? That was like a sausage pasta, right? Did you like my German? Un Schottel de Belgien. Wunderschön. I was pretty impressed you kept it throughout the whole video. Yeah. So I was uh, trying to figure out like, so do you speak German or no. is it? I have some Germans in my team. My brain works very well on lots of things, but language I struggle with. Okay. But I really wanted to do a German recipe. Yeah. And I was so passionate about the one pan pasta in the cookbook yeah. that um, I thought, right, I'm going to do one just for the German market. And I did it all in German, but it, it's... So it's, can you still remember it? Do you still know the text? Not, not, or is really, it not really. I just kept doing like one line at a time, one line at a time. It sounded very professional, I gotta say. It Thank looked you very, very smooth. Much. So. Bless you. <laughs> you can make this dish really quickly, but I quite like just to take it back a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then if you give it a little bit more time in the pan, you pull out this like incredible sweetness from the vegetables. And it, it, you have to remember, like this tasty part, mm. it's, I, I can't talk about Germany, but in England it's like the, the stalks. This stuff is normally going in the bin. This is the tastiest yeah. bit, like. I don't know if that's a thing uh, in Britain as well, but the Germans, uh, they sort of 
cut the outer part, and when they chop it up, they call this the poor man's asparagus. Really? Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. So it's actually also something that uh, we love to use. Uh, just really finely slice it. Put it into delicious salad. Mm. It's good to not waste. Anyway, let's talk about herbs in Palestine, Israel, Turkey, Morocco. There's herbs everywhere. Mm -hmm. Often parsley. I love mint. I really love mint with asparagus and yeah. sort of those green veggies. Do you notice how I graded this? Yeah. I tend to do the same with herbs. The bigger leaves that maybe are a bit more beaten up, I'll take off. The little tiny ones that are just like beauty. A, they're softer, but B, they're prettier. I do like to think about food telling mm. a story yeah. visually. So I really like having the frumpy leaves in the dish and then the beautiful leaves on yeah. the dish. So I'll just roughly chop some herbs. You can tear them if you want. I'm gonna do some potatoes. Potatoes normally take a little bit of cooking, so mm -hmm. what we can do is use the knife to control the cooking time. I'm just gonna cut them into little matchsticks. I think this is a really good excuse for some knife skills. It doesn't matter if you're not good at knife skills, just cut them thinly and then almost put them on top of each other like a pack of cards and, and just do your cross chopping. And then we'll just sprinkle those into the pan. Potato just has that amazing ability to absorb flavour from the sweet vegetables and it makes you feel good, it makes you feel happy. Like you say, like the shakshukas that you've seen before, typically it's a lot of red. Red, 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 red. And that's correct and that's beautiful. And when I started to travel, they put a shakshuka down for a brunch and it was black or green or yellow. Not just red, 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 and, and I love that. So what was the black one? What's, what, what was in there? The black, well, I, I put it in the book. It was yeah. like black beans, which is the most nutritious pulse on the planet. Black is like a really rare color in food. Yeah. I went a bit shakshuka mad in the book. It's because I really believe that the recipe is useful to people that are busy, people that love good food, and also people that want to have a, a, a meal that makes them feel really comforted, but also super healthy. So um, this is a brilliant way of getting more veggies into Yeah, it. tell me a little bit more. What about other one pot dishes that are in there? So what oh. are the categories like? I mean, one pot is really, we also know like from our crowd, people love it just yeah. because they can save so much on the washing yeah. up. When I wrote this book, we counted all the washing up. We kept all the equipment really minimal, kept it to a minimum. But in the book, we were celebrating chicken, we're celebrating meat, fish, loads of veggie dishes. We're breaking it down into sort of, you know, fantastic little pasta dishes. Um, there's sweet things and treats as well. So there's a little bit of something for everyone. Um, there's definitely food that I know that you love, but also just enough food that you don't know that you love <laughs> yet. Yeah, so as you were talking about like shakshuka also being part of that book, we have more recipes as well that uh, you can also find on Kitchen Stories. But also if you want a free copy of this book signed yep. personally by you, then feel free to leave a comment as well below the video with your favorite Jamie recipe. Ooh. Is there something that's like the favorite Jamie recipe? That's For like me? your go-to? Yeah. Oh no, I'm a nightmare. Like every day I change <laughs> what I feel like, what I want, what I want to eat. I'm the worst person to ask that because sometimes it's like So you have a food, wide variety. Food. Oh, yeah. You know that I read a statistic, don't name it down if it's like a real thing, that the average German knows like five recipes by yeah, heart. Yeah. And they like tend to like do it over repeat, and over repeat, again. Repeat. And so like that's why I'm also so happy to have you here because I think you brought so much like accessible cooking to the people and also to the German yeah. market. And it's been so great to see. And oh, I don't you. know, like what do you feel like are maybe some of the like most relevant ones or formats that really like reach the people? I think when you can work with ingredients that you've probably bought already in your, your weekly shop. And that's why if you think about it, like broccoli eggs, potato, like I know you've got it already. So you don't have to shop so much. And you've seen me like use different seasonal vegetables. So you can go in the freezer and grab some frozen peas or whether you're rich or poor or young or old or a student, like you can make shakshuka and you can spice it the way you want. And it feels like a, a really nice recipe that you can make your own. I'm just gonna put a little water and what that'll do is just speed up the softening and the transfer of flavors. I have to show you this today <laughs> because we went down the market and got some amazing produce. This is not in the recipe, but that, that's my point. Whatever is next to you, like respond. So we'll, we'll use a little bit of this for fun. This is the joy of cooking. Yeah, it's definitely something that we are also always trying to bring. It's really more about learning how to do it, but then it's like anyone can find this like confidence in the yeah. kitchen and really like feel at ease in the kitchen, yeah. be able to play around a little bit. At this stage, what I'm gonna do 
is put in some of these lovely veggies. I'm gonna go in with the asparagus as well. I think really the point of shakshuka is creating a delicious, actually very nutritious, healthy base to celebrating eggs. Eggs are one of the most affordable and versatile. Versatile, a great value source yeah. of protein. So really, instead of just boiling it or just steaming yeah. it or just frying it, which I love, like it's going to have a home here. Yeah, this, I'm, I'm this excited. This is its bed for the night. <laughs> so now the magic starts to happen. We're going to take a little bit of this harissa. Yeah. This harissa has fennel seeds in it, a little garlic. It has rose water, coriander seeds. The chili isn't too hot. It's it's a gentle chili. What would you say if I would put chili crisp instead in there? If I Amazing. only had that. <laughs> yeah, or, or, or you got all those Korean yeah. chili uh, yeah. sauces. Um, the More Asian like the sauces. Asian, turn it yeah. a little bit Asian. Yeah. Celebrate it. Yeah, go for it. Look how beautiful that is. Imagine this at the weekend. You've had a lay-in, you've had a nice night on Saturday. Yeah. It's Sunday morning, sun's out, maybe a cup of tea or coffee. Like, it's 10 o'clock, 10.30. It's not quite breakfast, it's not quite lunch. And then you rattle out a little green shakshuka with a hit of chili. Woo! And a nice piece of sourdough bread, I guess. Yes, please. <laughs> so I'm cracking the egg into these little holes that you've made. So can you see the steam coming out here? We're not frying the egg. We're kind of what we would call coddling the egg. Obviously in a, a tomato shakshuka, it's more wet, but it doesn't have to be that wet. Just look how beautiful that is. Little pepper, little salt on the eggs, maybe a kiss of extra virgin olive oil. And now we put them to bed. Tuck them in. Not too fast, take the heat down to sort of medium. I always think when you're traveling the world and you see the different breads, yeah. you know, it's always absolutely I mean, you're here in the home of the bread. Yeah, yeah, they love their <laughs> I bread gotta too. say, I mean, here you find really anything. Can I just show you this? So this, see how this on the lid, see this little kind of environment? Eggs are really delicate. Yes, you can cook them fast and aggressively, but they're really delicate. And it's not quite done yet, but if you look in here, do you know what I mean? Like. It's just steamy and gorgeous, and you can see how everything's just complementing each other. And it's setting so nicely. I'm actually like a very positively surprised that you can do this all in the pan and not use the oven yeah. in addition. Well, look how clean we are. So it's, many shakshuka dishes there's, there's are made. There's one thing to wash up. Yeah. We'll have a couple of plates, or we can eat it out of the pan. Uh, Mr. Cameraman, come in and get a lovely close-up. Um, I'll, I'll do a little moment for you. It's perfect. You're perfect. <laughs> In the air right now, what you can't smell is burning toast. <laughs> this, this is my life right here. This symbolizes yeah. Jamie Oliver. When, when I first moved to my house in London, <laughs> uh, like five years ago, mm -hmm. um, we had a new kitchen, German, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And I was doing toast and the alarm went off. Oh, and no. the fire brigade came and I had like seven big strapping lads come in with all the outfits on and it's like Jamie Oliver, oh, oh, no. I'm sitting there going, I'm really, really sorry. <laughs> oh. They're probably still talking about that yeah, today. Like, Please They're like... don't tell the papers. <laughs> um, anyway, if Germany, if you burn your toast, you get your knife and uh, we can... We can clean that up. I actually do love the little bit darker parts. No, I know. I'm, I'm so glad you said that. Isn't it good that I burned the toast? It's you? great that you burned <laughs> we, we intended for you to burn yeah. the toast. <laughs> I'm not going to dress it with butter. I love butter. But um, I'm just going to kiss it with nice extra virgin olive oil. Maybe a little pinch of salt. And then I do little soldiers. We call these soldiers. Yeah, we have that here too. Oh, you do? Into yeah, the eggs? Yeah, do. So this, come down to my world. Mm -hmm. This is the green shakshuka. And you can cook the eggs, of course, to your liking, but you can see they're, 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 they're a little bit runny. Yeah, that's perfect. They're probably like 20, 30 seconds over, which, as you can see, is the relationship between the toast. <laughs> it's just like, but it's okay. What I love to do now is we bring it to life. So we take these lovely herbs and we just, we put that over the top. And, and these are just natural little gifts. The flavour is phenomenal, so never waste those. You know, with celery, the little yellow leaves are amazing, like basil, mint, parsley, gorgeous. So we put some of that around. Um, if you want to sprinkle some of that mint. Sure. And that's it, sister. That's the green shakshuka. Look at that. Oh my lord. It's just dreamy. It smells so good of the fresh herbs. And also look how green it is. We haven't destroyed the asparagus. It's a very gentle, forgiving method. 
such a great dish. And if you want to find this and more dishes of the book for a little free sneak, you can also go to the link below that you will find to lead you to Kitchen Story. So we'll have Jamie with his excerpt of the cookbook one. And I cannot be more excited to like finally try this now. Madam, this is so for how, you. how am I going then? It's I'm, been, let, I'm let going me, to grab let, let a little this, bit of everything, Let me right? move this to the board, no pressure. There's nothing like eating on TV. Eating on camera. Um, <laughs> it's the worst part of the uh, video. Isn't yeah, yeah. Um, elegance, not elegant. <laughs> so I'm going to go from the pan. Mmm, sweet, spicy. And the veggies that still have a bite. And the eggs are so... And then that's super mushy. They're comforting. You know, it makes mm -hmm. you feel like you've had a little kiss and a little hug. And I like it. Full of life. So for all you lovely people at home, if there is a one pot dish that you love, something that reminds you of your childhood, something that makes you truly happy, let us know. Put it in the comments box below. Because for me and for all the guys here, we love seeing what you love. And then that inspires us to give you more recipes that hopefully you will love. So put it in the comments box below. Jamie, thank you so much for being here. It's been, you know, a dream come true. And we're so happy to have had you here as our special guest and to be able to introduce one of these really amazing dishes from your cookbook. Thank and you. uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs> That was a good one. Yeah, see? I'm I want to continue eating. <laughs>